Hi, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodělky and today's project is to crochet barefoot sandals and these are done per request of one of my followers so um, if you really would like to go and uh, crochet something like this let's go and do it before you start crocheting leave a longer tail you will need it to tie a bead if you want to put a bead in there okay in uh, into the middle of the flower so you will need that um, for the bead and I will start today actually with magic loop so we will wrap the uh, yarn around the finger place the hook under the this uh, yarn that is wrapped around the finger grab the yarn pull it under and now we will grab the yarn again and make a little uh, knot okay oops and I slipped it off now these two these two now s stay together and I will crochet around these two around that loop and the end okay and I kind of like to keep it on my finger when I'm doing it so I go under pull the yarn through and make a, a single crochet stitch make 10 of them okay so that's one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so we have ten, and now what you can do is just pull this. See, you pull, and it and it starts getting smaller and smaller okay and it's perfect and then we will just put the bead in the middle of this little hole and we will connect into the first uh, single crochet row two we will do first three chain one two three then we will make single crochet stitch we will skip this stitch and we will make single crochet stitch into second stitch we'll make single crochet now we will make two chain one two and we will make we will skip one and make single crochet into the second one and we will do this three more times one two skip one single crochet one two skip one make single crochet into second one two and since we did not do single crochet in here we just did a chain we're going to go and make a single crochet in there Okay, and slip stitch. Okay, and we will leave a longer uh, tail also. Not does not have to be just as long as this one. Just to tie that uh, later on, we will we will put the bead on this one and then tie these two together but we don't we're not gonna go and worry about it right now our next step third row is going to be our pink pink row okay with the pink one we will start right below the first sing, uh, single crochet stitch or last single crochet stitch rather all right so I'll put my hook in there I will draw the yarn through and actually we need this little bit longer so I'll pull this 
Okay, and uh, I will take both uh, strings and I pull it through just to make sure it does not unravel. And now we will make half double crochet. Oops, I need yarn over. Yarn over for half double crochet and half double crochet. Now double crochet, two of them, two double crochet stitches. So this is one and two and half double crochet and right under this single crochet stitch we will make another single crochet stitch but you know it's kind of a little longer okay you just pull the pull the stitch up a little bit okay and now we will make half double crochet two sing uh two double crochets and half double crochet into in next uh chain two space okay because this is this was done in chain two space i forgot to mention it so half double crochet double crochet once double crochet two and half double crochet and we finish with single crochet all the way under just want to show you I will spread it for you see right there okay single crochet and make it pull it up a little bit and make it and you will do that with this this and this one okay so you just do the same thing like in these two and I'm finished with my uh, last um, two chain space okay and I will connect this into this one here with a slip stitch I just will do that and we are finished with this um, third row and at this point you might want to um, weave in your pink ends so with the white yarn we will start here again all the way under under that uh, single crochet stitch and we will make a long single I mean you know kind of like a uh, um, sort of like a single crochet stitch and the next one next one is right here and we will do just single crochet stitch here and I will actually crochet around this white uh, white yarn uh, end so I don't have to do it now the next two stitches we will do in each of them two single crochet stitches one and two single crochet stitches in first stitch and one and two single crochet stitches now uh, we will do the again that really long single crochet stitch all the way up okay don't make it too tight okay and now again one single crochet stitch here two single crochet stitches in the, in the next one one and two two single crochet in the next one one and two those are the single crochet stitches uh, the, 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 these single crochet stitches are in the uh, in the stitches of double crochet stitches from previous row okay and single crochet stitch and that's the half into half double crochet stitch and now we do the again all the way down here we will do the single crochet stitch and again single crochet stitch 
two single crochet stitches in the next one, two single crochet stitches in the next one, single crochet stitch, and single crochet stitch all the way down here. All the way, and don't make it too tight, pull it all the way up. Okay, and single crochet stitch here. And two here, two single crochet stitches right there, and two single crochet stitches in the next one, and one single crochet stitch, and one long single crochet stitch, and one single crochet stitch, and this is our last petal. And two single crochet stitches in the next stitch, and two single crochet stitches in the next one, and one single crochet stitch. And now we just will connect into the circle. Connect it in such way I will go actually through this one. Okay, connect it, and there you go. Now we have the flower and weave in all the ends. Okay, we're almost finished. Just the, not all the ends, not the blue ones, weave in the white ones. Now we will be adding beads, so we need to pull this yarn to the other side, to the front, to the right, uh, right side, okay, right there, you see, and oops, let's, and now we will add the bead. The only thing is that we need to, this actually, this needle is not going to go through my bead, it's way too wide. You can use uh, uh, you know, string, um, a thread. So you put both of these ends through this. Actually, let me see if it can be done this way. This is not really doubled. Here, let me see. Yes, it goes. Look how easy. Anyway, so that is done. Now I have to use my uh, needle. I could do it with a hook, but the hook would have to be really thin. And because I want to go here as close to the edge as possible. Okay, and it has to be actually straight across. Don't do it like from here to here. Straight across, okay? Okay, so there we go. Now we have bead on the inside. And what I will do is, I will go with my needle again under in here and close to this one, where I can go and tie them. Now I don't let go of this yet, because I will weave it in as soon as I make a knot. Now we can make it tight, okay? And we will weave it in right away here. And our last step is to do the green strings in here for the toe and to wrap around the ankle, okay? So we will start actually crocheting long string here, about 12 inches. And then we will attach it to one petal up here, then petal on the bottom, and then petal next to this one over here, okay? So it makes kind of like a V. It will be attached in a V, okay? So first make a chain long about 12 inches. 
had a little lint there. So when you have that, I will show you how to attach it. And uh, my 12 inch uh, string is about uh, 60 chains. Okay, so I will attach it to this one. And what I did is actually because it's going it's going in this direction I will turn it around and attach it here I will go through these two uh, strings or loops and I will check you see it doesn't show on the other side okay and I will just draw a string through it okay and now we will continue doing chain about seven of them one two three four five six seven and that seven reaches right there into that uh, petal on the bottom so when you have seven stitches in here we need to attach it here at the bottom on that um, bottom petal you know it needs to go from here to the in in that direction of a V in the V and then up here right so when you attach it to the bottom petal without uh, make sure it doesn't show in there then you make about nine eight or nine chain stitches so that's two three four five six seven eight nine that's gonna be for the toe where the toe goes and then you go again in here but from the other direction into those two strings and you may make another slip stitch or basically chain then seven you see so now we have the toe the toe is gonna go there and then we make another seven stitch uh, chains chain stitches so that's one two three four five six seven and then we attach it over here to these two on that petal I had to retape this video because I forgot the toe I forgot to do the toe so I had to I had to retape this part and now we go all the way we make that long string again and when you're finished you just make a you tighten this up real hard and you make another knot over here okay and go as close gently push it up as close to this uh, end as possible and tighten it up and now we will just cut this little piece off we have a little tiny tail there and that's it now the flower has the toe toe thing toe loop so uh, we are all finished and if you crochet along with that is wonderful because you will make some baby's feet look adorable and I want to thank you so much for clicking on it clicking on my video you can share it, you can comment on it, it will be very, very appreciated. And basically, until the next project, have a great time doing whatever you love, and see you later!